Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the elect out here that's doing and pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to go in this lesson on uh, Jared Kushner, which is Donald Trump's. Uh, son-in-law um, the RFID chip and uh, Lucent uh, Technologies okay um, I got two scriptures that I'm gonna bring out with you know at the end of the lesson um, you know that's just to bring it all together but I'm gonna start off with this it says did you know Donald Trump has a Jewish son-in-law named Jared Kushner, who's owner of the most expensive single building property purchased in U.S. history. Okay, it says he is the owner of the most expensive single building per property purchase in U.S. history. Okay, it is the home of Lucent Technologies. Home of the RFID chip technology. And the address is 666 5th Ave Avenue. Trump has recently appointed Jared Kushner, which is his son-in-law, as White House Senior Advisor. Okay. So, um, I believe that this guy, um, he probably will pay, play some uh, type of uh, part and uh, the RFID chip being pushed okay um, now uh, I want to go into the uh, per property purchase of this uh, 666 5th Ave okay um, it says um, repurposing it says in January 2007 Tishman Spire, along with Ger with the German investment firm TMW, announced the sale of the building to the Kushner Properties for $1.8 billion, about $2.2 billion real, real value, okay? He bought this building for $1.8 billion, okay? We're not talking about millions. We're talking about billions here. At the time, the highest price ever paid for an individual building in Manhattan. This was an unconventional price for s such a short building by New York standards. Standing at 483 feet, 666 Fat 5th is not among the top 100 tallest buildings in New York City. But its high price was mainly because of its location on 5th Avenue across from Rockefeller Center. Okay. So this building that they purchased. It was not. Um, it's not one of the top 100 tallest buildings. You know you have to ask. What was so special about this building. That they had to pay 1.8 uh, billion dollars for. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons, you know, um, uh, has to be, you know, of, of course, the Rockefeller Center, okay? But um, even going into the Rockefeller Center, okay, um, it says Rockefeller Center is a large complex consisting of 19 high-rise commercial buildings covering 22 acres between 48 and 51st. Uh, streets in New York City, commissioned by the Rockefeller family, right? Now, when you're going to what, what it says about the Rockefeller family, okay, which the Rockefellers, they uh, go back to the Rothschilds and everything, okay? It says the Rockefeller family is an American industrial, political, and banking family that made one of the world's largest fortunes in the oil business during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, right? It says, with John D. Rockefeller and his brother, 
William Rockefeller, primarily through Standard Oil, the family is also known for its long association with and control of Chase Manhattan Bank. It says they are considered to be one of the most powerful families, if not the most powerful family in the history of the United States. Okay, it says if not the most powerful family, which, you know, the most powerful family has to be the Rockefeller. Okay, now I want to go into this word uh, powerful. Okay, it says having great power or strength. Okay, where do, why why would this um art or this uh this uh Wikipedia say that they're considered to be one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful family? Okay, why would they say that? You know, that's something uh for you to think about. Okay, what what is their strength? You know, and how are they using their strength, man? Because with that power, you know, they have to be using it in some type of way. Okay. Now, this building or this street, uh, this building um, was uh, Jared Kushner, okay, uh, bought, okay, the most, you know, $1.8 billion. Okay. Uh, he bought this building and it says that it is the home of Lucent Technologies. Okay. The home of the RFID chip technology, okay, which that is uh, extremely important, okay. Um, now, going into it, uh, the Lucent technology, which this is their uh, logo here, okay. It says, uh, Lucent means they sign in Latin, okay. Now, I want to go into the etymology of the word lucent and it says um signing bright luminous to sign glow be bright translucent clear uh light brightness okay um which uh lucent is uh, uh short for um or another way of saying lucifer Okay, and then you have uh, well, this is this is different. Um, well, it goes back to the word uh, Luke. Okay, I believe that's how you say it. Um, which means light or brightness. Okay, and one of the um, one of the the the, the forms of this uh, word, okay, is illumination. Okay, which it goes back to uh, the Illuminati. Okay, um, which just means uh, light bearers or, or Lucifer. Okay, Lucifer means light bearer, and this uh, term lucent is the is this souls. Okay, it just means they shine in uh, Latin. Okay, uh, it says the name was applied in 1996 at the time of the split from AT and T. Okay, uh, the same link link linguistic. Root also gives Lucifer the light bearer uh, from, uh, as, I, as I just was saying, okay. Um, so basically the, the, the term Lucent and Lucifer uh, go hand in hand, okay. Um, which the ones who, who hold the light, okay, as we just saw or, or uh Red, okay, is you know, like the Rockefeller families, they're one of the people who, who, uh, you know, have that uh money or that power in their society, okay, or in, the, or in this world, I should say, okay, um, and and yeah, it says in, in, in the history of the United States, yeah, they are uh, the most powerful, uh, most, most likely ever in the United States. Now, when I went to the uh the lucent uh page you know the um because they have a page lucent uh dot com okay and i went to it you know and um i typed in rfid on a uh, search to see what pops up okay 
And what I ran across was uh, in this thing, it said uh, NFC, which the NFC is another name for uh, the chip that they're uh, putting out there over uh, seas over in Europe. Okay, you see uh, NFC, okay, RFID uh, technology. Okay, so this company has RFID uh, technology. This uh, Lucent um, uh, Technologies. Okay. Now, I want to go into the scriptures. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Okay. Uh, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay. And uh, the beast is um uh, is nato okay uh pretty much the the north atlantic uh treaty organization okay and um they're they're going to implement this this chip worldwide where um i read something also about uh china having uh um invested into uh lucent uh technologies Okay, um, so they're going to implement this chip, okay, um, and, and the ones who, who aren't, uh, down with the system, okay, down with the program, they're, they're going to, uh, uh, cause you to, uh, be put to death, okay, it says, and he causes all, both small and great, okay, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads which the mark of the beast is the rfid chip okay and when you go into this word uh mark is karagma okay which is a stamp or an imprinted mark okay and that's going to be the um the, the 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 rfid chip when they when they put it in uh people's hands Okay, or foreheads. Okay, uh, as the scriptures say, um, and it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of the beast. I mean, or the name of the beast, or number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that under that has understanding. Count the number of the beast, for it is a, the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three six score, which that is six six six. Okay, and that all goes back to the RFID chip. Okay, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, so with that said, I want to go into this lesson, and I'm a, I mean this scripture, and I'm gonna end it. Um, Isaiah fourteen and twelve. It says, "How art thou fallen from heaven?" O Lucifer, which this is talk as, as we just brought up. Okay, Lucifer simply just means uh light bearer, okay? Illuminated ones, okay? And this is talking about the um the uh the 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 the, the illumin the I'm sorry, the illuminated ones, the illuminati, you know, the uh the people that are uh, in power in this world, okay? Um, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights, heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high. And when you look at these buildings, okay, this is them extending their, um, trying to, trying to, uh, uh, ascend above the heights of the clouds. Okay. Putting these buildings, you know, where the clouds, you know, it's, it's up there where the clouds are. Okay. Um, it says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. Okay. Um, when America is going to get destroyed when when they implement this RFID chip 
You know, America is going to get destroyed. Okay, and this is all biblical prophecy. Okay, um, they say they they that see thee shall nearly look upon you and consider you, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake uh, kingdoms? Was this man is you know Esau, the so-called white man? Okay, which it's not just one person. You know, this is this is uh, more than one person." Okay, so people are going to uh, look at uh, the so-called white man, you know, Trump or, you know, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers and all these uh, nations. Okay, that uh, or, or not nations, but uh, people that are in a position of power and they're going to look at them in the kingdom and be like, this was the guy who who implemented the RFID chip, you know, uh, it says that made the worth is a. I mean, made the world is an is a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the prisoners. Okay, and what did we go into earlier, man? You know, free and bond. They might they might uh, free some of the people who um, who who take the chip and stuff like that. But for the most part, the the prison complex is a um, it's a it's a they making a lot of money off of it. Okay. So at the end of the day, um, Donald Trump may be the guy that that brings this uh, RFID chip in World War Three to pass, okay? And uh, he has people behind him that are pretty much already in the field of the RFID chip technology, okay? And the RFID chip is, is already pretty much here, you know. They just didn't make it mandatory, okay. But with that, you know, um, hopefully this was this information was edifying, you know. Um, I want to uh, say uh, salawam, you know, till next time.